So a new Star Trek film just got announced and it's being described as a prequel origin film that's an expansion on the J.J. Abrams version of the Star Trek universe that started back in 2009 with the Star Trek reboot film. It's being directed by Toby Haynes who directed some episodes of Andor and if you haven't seen Andor I genuinely can't recommend it enough. It's one of the best things to ever come out of the Star Wars universe honestly but this is the third Star Trek movie that's currently in development and to be honest I wouldn't get overly excited about any of them at this point because they've been trying to get a new Star Trek film off the ground since Star Trek Beyond came out in 2016 and so far none have gotten past the script phase. The 60th anniversary of the franchise is in 2026 so I think no matter what one of these films will be aiming for a release that year whether they make that release date is another story but I think one of them will be aiming to release then to kind of mark it as this is the 60th anniversary of the franchise. We have Star Trek Section 31 which is the most likely to actually get made in my opinion that's starring Michelle Yeoh as Philippa Giorgio from Star Trek Discovery. This film started as a TV show years ago and was announced last April as now being a film. It was supposed to enter pre-production back in November before the strikes happened and now it's slated for entering production early this year and it's supposed to be a streaming exclusive for Paramount Plus. Whether it'll actually end up on Paramount Plus is another story because Paramount Plus isn't doing so hot. By the time this film comes out it may have to go to Netflix, it may have to go to Amazon, it may have to go somewhere else because Paramount Plus may not be a thing anymore or maybe merged into some other streaming service. The other Star Trek film is Star Trek 4 which is the next film in the J.J. Abrams reboot franchise and this has been in some form of development since 2016 and a lot of people thought this film was dead, myself included, we hadn't heard anything about it in so long but the article that announced this new Star Trek film actually confirmed that 4 is still in development and it will be the last film in that franchise. I think the reason they decided to reveal this information in this is because they rightly assumed people would think that this new prequel film was going to be being made instead of a potential Star Trek 4 and I thought the same thing until reading the article when this first got announced this prequel film I was like oh well this is obviously taking the place of whatever Star Trek 4 was going to be but no they're being made alongside each other which is kind of surprising but outside of it being a prequel we don't have a lot of information on this new film just that it takes place decades before the 2009 film and that it's being produced by Bad Robot which means it'll definitely be in the reboot universe as Bad Robot would not be involved in a Star Trek film if it was set in the normal timeline. We can make a few guesses as to what the film could be about though just based off of other projects. Full disclosure though if I'm honest, I'm not overly into the idea of another Star Trek prequel or origin because so much of the franchise has done that in some fashion over the last 20 years. We've got a couple Star Trek TV shows that are currently airing and Discovery started off as a prequel and was a prequel for a few years and Strange New Worlds is a prequel so the thought of another film being a prequel again is not too great for me personally but over the last 20 years it's just been a lot of what the franchise has done and Star Trek isn't Star Wars where there's tons of room to learn about the origins of something because we've already seen a lot of origins of things in other films or TV shows like with Star Wars you can do a film like Rogue One you can do what they're doing now which is an origin of the Jedi Order because we haven't seen a lot of that in Star Wars yet for Star Trek because there's 60 years of TV shows and films there's a lot of room for them to have already done stuff like there wasn't giant gaps in things the way Star Wars had where there were years where there was nothing happening with Star Trek if there were no films coming out there were still TV shows coming out so there's there's been a lot of ground covered and Star Trek 2009 itself was already a prequel and origin of the Enterprise and of the Kirk crew like it literally started as a script called Star Trek the beginning so I'm not completely into the idea of us getting a prequel to a prequel but we've also been without a Star Trek film for so long that I genuinely will take whatever I can get at this point. So a pretty likely theory is that this film will star Chris Hemsworth as George Kirk. He's James T. Kirk's father and he appeared at the very beginning of Star Trek 2009 before being killed on the Kelvin. For a while Star Trek 4 was actually supposed to be a time travel film featuring him, featuring the crew of the Enterprise and meeting George Kirk and this lines up as the original fourth Star Trek film was The Voyage Home which was a time travel film and they've already kind of done this already in the reboot franchise where they've had like Star Trek Into Darkness being the second film in the reboot franchise was an adaptation of Star Trek The Wrath of Khan which was the original second film. So it makes sense that they do some time travel stuff in their new fourth film to match the original fourth film. But the story goes that talks broke down when the cast couldn't work out contracts and money and Hemsworth was supposedly not too happy with a potential script and this mostly lines up because the cast for those films is extremely stacked. They've all blown up so much since Star Trek 2009 and it makes a lot of sense that these guys cost so much more money today than they did in 2009. But a way to get Hemsworth to like a script could have been making him the star of it which would mean this new film is sort of what the original script for 4 was going to be just without time travel elements and just without the Enterprise crew. I mean hey maybe time travel and the Enterprise crew are still in it. I, I think this film could potentially be about George meeting Winona Kirk, his years in Starfleet on the Kelvin. It could be a fun film if they do it right. I think this is a potential situation. 
There is also the possibility this film could be about the first years of the Enterprise NCC-1701 under Captain Robert April, or maybe the first years with Captain Pike, since he already appeared, played by Bruce Greenwood in the 2009 film and Into Darkness. This way you can get some of the cast back, like Zachary Quinto Spock, but you don't need to bring everyone back, since people like Chris Pines Kirk or Scott Pegg Scotty don't join up until the first film is already underway. That said, I personally think this is unlikely and I also kind of hope it's not true. A Captain Robert April film could definitely work I guess because we haven't really seen that character in a whole lot of anything. He was in some of Star Trek the Animated Series in the 1970s and then he's been a character in Strange New Worlds but we've never seen him really as a captain properly so they could definitely do something like that but for a Captain Pike film I think that that's completely off the table because this is basically exactly what Star Trek Strange New Worlds is doing at the moment and that show will be in its third season next year so that show is that show is also really popular. I feel like they won't want to do a movie and a TV show that are doing the exact same thing in the same franchise that are, you know, completely different paths. It would be like Marvel Studios releasing a Spider-Man film and a Spider-Man TV show, both starring different actors doing the exact same storyline. Some more possibilities is that they go back even further to the beginnings of the Federation, doing their own versions of the NX-01 Enterprise, maybe Captain Archer, early Starfleet, something like that. But I kind of think this is unlikely. Enterprise, the show, never got far enough to do the Romulan War of, or the early days of the Federation as the show got cancelled just before they could kind of get to those points. But I have a feeling they'll want to keep this new film connected to the 2009 film in terms of having at least one or two people back. That said, I'd love a Romulan War film. It was one of the things I was really hoping Enterprise would get to and then they got cancelled just before they could reach it. That would have been really cool to see. They could also do a film that shows what happened with first contact with the Klingons in this universe as the Klingons are probably the face of Star Trek in terms of a species. They could go back even further than that if they wanted to and do early warp or do first contact with the Vulcans, even World War III in the Star Trek universe. But we've already kind of covered this in Star Trek First Contact which came out in 1998 so maybe not do any of that as well since it's already been in a film. World War III could be cool but I feel like you potentially reach a point then where to a general audience it does not feel like it's a Star Trek thing at all and it could come across as a generic war action film than actually be related to any, to Star Trek in any meaningful way so I kind of hope maybe they'll avoid that as well. I do think the most likely thing though is this being a George Kirk based film which is fine it honestly it wouldn't be at the top of my list of what I'd like to see but new Star Trek is new Star Trek I guess. The fact the article does mention origin makes me feel like it could potentially point towards the foundings of the Federation or something which would be kind of fitting if the 60th anniversary film was about the early days of the Federation but I also feel like that's maybe something a general audience would not care about which is something this film is going to have to try and do is make a general audience care and want to see a new Star Trek film. That's going to be a problem for this film. By the time this film comes out, it'll be at least 10 years since the last Star Trek film and at least 17 years since this iteration of the franchise even started. These films already barely made profits at just around 300 to 400 million each between Star Trek 2009, Into Darkness and beyond. And they all, all had around the same budgets, about 150 to 190 million each. So there's not a whole lot of popularity there even when these were releasing back to back, so waiting so long between them might not leave there to be much interest outside of the diehard Star Trek fans. I also, I feel like a big reason why you get a lot of people back for a new Star Trek film is the cast, and the cast for these, for this trilogy was so amazing. Like, if you look back now and you see them and you're just like, wow, how did they get this much of a stacked cast in 2009? Because they've all blown up so much since. I feel like to do a new Star Trek film, you would kind of want to get that cast back, and they also, they're all a really good cast. They all work together really well in terms of playing the characters they're playing. I would love to see all of them back for a new film, um, which probably wouldn't be the case in an origin film. I also would be surprised if they were able to get everyone back for a fourth film, unfortunately. But hey, look, no matter what though, I'll be there day one for this. A new starter film that actually has some concrete information and a release date would be pretty close to Superman Legacy as my most hyped film going forward. What are your thoughts on this? Would you like to see a new Star Trek origin film? What do you want to see in it? And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and all of that. And I hope you have a great day.